How's it going lads? Marshall here and welcome to another review. Today we have the 83 rated 5 star skiller Nanny. Guys if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN or game codes head over to G2A.com Use that code M89 to get yourself 5% off. Every link that you will need is in that description below and so is Kieran Scout for FIFA who once again generously lent me his account. Lads go check him out. Between me and him we're going to have some very exciting content coming on FIFA. 16 and I just can't wait to get started lads I just can not wait but for now we're focusing on Nanny 40 to 100 on the Xbox 50 to 120 on the PlayStation 5 star skills 4 star weak foot high to low work rates base card stats look tremendous and I'm gonna say look a hell of a lot of times because this card is the card possibly of my dreams I mean 89 acceleration 95 agility 85 balance 82 sprint speed his strength doesn't look too bad at 65 and 60 aggression so looking at that you're thinking yeah this card's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. Then you look at this and think, bloody hell, Marshall. This card is going to be the card of your dreams. 85 ball control, 90 dribbling with 5-star skills, 90 long shots, and 91 shot power. Lads, I've never been more let down by a card in my life. Never in my life have I been let down by a card. Because in-game, it does nothing. It does nothing. I mean, just... Uh... <laughs> that could have been me to blame for missing that open goal, but lads, this is his best goal from roughly 20 yards out, and it was a bloody own goal. I mean, Jesus Christ. His pros will focus on the positives first. Pace, he is very fast. He can get up and down that right hand flank all game long, but especially up because he's lazy as hell. He doesn't like to defend. Five star skills, fantastic for any player on this game. Dribbling, sensational. If you add in the five star skills, the speed of the card is a very fast dribbler, and that is very useful in taking on your opponents, cutting inside, and doing all that kind of jazz to beat your opponent's defense. Ball control, sensational, touch tight every single time. That is where it stops. That is it. Nada, nothing, zilch. Nothing more from this card is provided because his end product sucks. Long shots, I thought would be sensational. 90 long shots, 91 shot power. Curve was good as well. I thought his long shots would be accurate. No, they're not. And you know me, I'm quite good with long shots. I mean, with Schneider, you've seen it yesterday. With James Rodriguez, you're gonna see it. But uh, Nani, that was as close as he came. I mean, uh, I just don't know what to say about this card, lads. I've never been let down more by a card in my life. He's very inconsistent. And he is very, and I mean very bloody weak. Week. His in-game stats might not suggest that, but in-game, he goes down at every single opportunity given. So overall rating, he's getting a 7 because he's like his normal card. He is a good card. He's not tremendous. He's not utter, utter shite. But um, yeah, he's very average and a value of coins of a 5. Guys, if you have enjoyed this, smash the hell out of that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. And as always, I will catch you all next time.